Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Karina from Per Diem Thrifts. If you are new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark. I also own my own brick and mortar consignment store. And today, if you guys have been following along on this journey, I'm currently in the process of buying out another reseller and buying all of her inventory. And I've been showing you guys what I've been getting. And in today's episode of this whole series, I'm showing you guys the shoes that I got, specifically the sneakers. I've already done a few videos so if you guys want to watch them i will link the playlist up above we are going to be multitasking in this video though not only am i going to be showing you the shoes that we got in i'm going to be organizing them a little bit and setting them up in my warehouse as you see here we have this shoe rack and she is completely full and we also have this rack right here but it is also full with shoes and so i have all these shoes on the floor and in bins so i purchased another one of these rolling racks which i have right here here she is <laughs> I love this thing. She holds up to 50 pairs of shoes. I got her off of Amazon. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Um, super easy to put together. I just got it in this morning and I built it. But I'm going to put all the shoes that don't have boxes on here. I'm also thinking that this will be a better way like when people ask and they come in my store and they want to see like the cool sneakers i have i could just like roll this out versus like having to carry a bunch of shoes um but yeah so let's just go ahead and get into it I'm, i have like such limited space because it's such a mess back here so let me clean up just a little bit so we can actually see the shoes that i'm going to be showing you guys um and then we'll get into the haul lot not all the shoes came with boxes and then some of the boxes didn't match the shoes they didn't match up so i got rid of anything that didn't match and i also got rid of some of the boxes that were like ripped or that i just didn't want to sell the shoes with and so that's why i didn't have anywhere to put them on the shelves because i didn't have boxes um so that's why i got this so i can keep things more organized so also please bear with me i know nothing about sneakers and i am really just kind of easing my way into the sneaker game um so if i say something kind of unhinged correct me but be nice about it please <laughs> i'm learning and i'm really excited about it i have a whole bin right here that i keep looking down at that's all just air force ones um i know that at least so <laughs> let's just get into it first we have these guys right here these are air force ones and i only know that because it literally says air force one on the top here also this is such a classic style um although some of the colorways are a little different i feel like these are going to be the easiest for me to sell i haven't photographed any of these yet or gotten them up because i've been wanting to film this haul um so these are a size nine and a half i want to say they're men's they are a little dirty just because of the way that i've been storing them but they are brand new all of these shoes are brand spanking new so we're just gonna set these here okay i'm a little nervous that the high tops are not gonna fit um, so we will see how those go. These are also Air Force Ones in this like canvas teal color. This is more of like a, like a fabric versus a leather, but the swoosh is definitely leather. And then it's got, oh my goodness. And then it's got like a confetti design on the tongue, if you can see that. These are um, 10 and a half. I wanna say these are also men's. I could be wrong. I'm like, I really thought that it would say men's or women's inside, but I can just compare the shoes to other sizes just to see. Um, and we've got those right there. Next we have just this paint, plain pair of high tops in just a white. These are so classic, but they are high tops. So I don't know how desirable just like high tops are versus the low tops. I currently have some low top ones. Um, but I mainly just wanted to see if these would fit because looking at it, these might not fit. Dang it. Okay, so I have a lot of high tops. We're going to see if I can get them all to fit on the top shelf, um, but they might not all fit. We've got these ones here, which I love the texture on them. 
I don't know if you can tell, but the leather is kind of like embossed or like engraved. It has like stripes on it. Um, and this is more of a like grayish taupe color with, are these considered gum soles? I don't think so. Um, the only thing on these is they have this like weird thing going on on the inside. They're not anywhere else on the shoes. It's just on this part. So I'm not sure where that came from. I mentioned in another video that I had some of the damaged pieces and I might be putting those in a um, live sale where I just run things a little bit for a little bit less because they are damaged. They're not like horribly damaged. Like you could definitely still wear that, but they're just not perfect. Um, I don't know where this damage came from, but I might have to do that with some of the shoes as well. Next we have these guys. They are white and blue. I know like some of these guys have names. I have no idea what the names are. I'll try to look them up. But these have the 75th NBA anniversary on the tongue, which is kind of cool. That might mean something significant. We will see. Also on the... On this part, there's like a little diamond versus on the other ones, they say Air Force One. Um, so I might have to look these up. I did a quick picture of all the Air Force Ones on my Instagram stories and these were probably the most popular. They are a really small size though. They're a women's six and they are just this like iridescent orange color. They're so cute. They're my size, but I just, this isn't really my style. I wouldn't wear these. Um, but yeah, these were really popular. I'll have to look up comps on them. It's a couple hours later because I'm open right now and people just keep coming in. It's busy today, so we're happy about it. But let's get back into the shoes. These are probably some of my favorite that I got in this lot. They're so cute. They have a little smiley face on them. I want to say these are women's 10 because when I compare them to the other 10, they're a bit smaller. But these are so stinking cute. They have like cracked leather in the back. And yeah, oh my gosh, they're kind of remind me, like they're kind of giving Walmart smiley face. You remember that guy? <laughs> We've got some more high tops. I love this color. They are kind of a mix between like canvas and suede, Air Force One high tops. These ones are a size nine and I believe these are men's. I could be wrong. I don't know, man. I, I wish there was a way to tell, but I just have to compare them and see. These ones I actually kind of love and might try them on for myself. They are black Air Force One high tops with this like buckle detail. And um, I don't know, I just think they're really cool. I love a shoe with a gum sole. Like I am a sucker for a gum sole. Um, but I mean, if these are like worth a lot, I might just sell them, but they're so cute. I just love the black. Okay, I figured out a trick. For the high tops, I'm just gonna put them sideways like this. They're gonna take a little more room, but at least they'll fit on the rack. Okay, we've got a couple more pairs of the Air Force Ones, and then we'll move on to the other sneakers. So we got these guys. These are really fun too. They've got the little baby swoosh on top of the swoosh, and this little one is embroidered. These are also a small size. Um, these are a six and a half. I want to say they're like a six and a half women's versus like a six and a half youth because these would probably fit me as well. And then lastly, I have a feeling that these will probably do well because I think this is like a popular colorway. I could be wrong, um, but they're like a navy blue, black, and white. These are a men's size 10. So we've got those guys here. I really like those ones as well. Perfect, so that actually fit pretty well. I was still able to fit four pairs of shoes, even though I turned them sideways like that. So not mad at it. And let's keep going with the rest of the shoes. Bear with me, like I said, I don't really know what to call these, like words to describe them. When I'm holding up dresses or like women's clothing, I could be like, oh my God, this is so cute or something, but I feel like I can't really wear that, say that for shoes. Um, these guys here are Jordans. I like these, these are fun. They are like a, they're not coming off that well. It's almost like a teal 
sagey color. It's kind of blurry, sorry. There you go. And then the tongue here says jump man on them. And then that's what the back looks like. These are men's size 10 and a half. But I'll have to do research on these guys. I don't know if you can hear the dogs, but our the neighbor, she like brings her dogs to work and they just like run in the alley in the back. So that's why you're hearing those. These are super interesting. I don't love the texture of these. Um, they're kind of giving like dragon scale. I don't know, they're weird. They're weird texture. These are Nikes. And these are a size 12 in men. So these are a little on the bigger side. Um, and yeah, again, I, I really don't, I don't know what to say about them then. But the last time I made a video about sneakers, I actually had a few people who reached out and were really chill, super nice, and gave me a bunch of info on like how to look up shoes, where I should sell them, and it's a lot of freaking work. I don't know if I'm gonna be in the sneaker game long term. I also saw an article that said that the sneaker market just like isn't the same as how it used to be people aren't spending as much money on sneakers so i could be late to the game and i'm not mad about that because i don't really care so we're gonna just try to move these shoes and then move on um these next ones are some more nikes they don't have a name or anything on them so i don't really know what to say i want to say these are also basketball shoes i could be wrong um, and these are men's size 10 and a half as well. They say MMW on them. So I don't know what that stands for, but that is what they look like. We've got some more of those funny texture Jordans here. Or these aren't Jordans. These are Nikes. They say LOB on them. Um, it says most FF Air. And they're just that funny texture right here. I really don't like this. I don't even know how they get it to be like that. But anyway, they are white and purple. And these are all size 11. Okay, this next pair, I received one of them the first time around. So if you guys watched that first video, you guys saw these already. And they were these guys right here. These little, I think these are also Air Force Ones. Or maybe these are court, Nike courts. I don't know exactly what these are called. Oh, there are the Nike Dunk Low. I think that's what these are called. Um, but they have like a leopard print swoosh with like some metallic on them. Well, I got them in, I think this is like a women's six. I also got them in a women's five. These are really small. And then I got them in a women's. 12 so these will be easy to list nothing crazy um i don't think these are oh these are this is the right box but like see this is why i was throwing out some of the boxes like the um tops were ripped off they have all the sale prices so um i don't want to ship them out but like for storage it makes it a little bit easier um but yeah, so I got these, I got two more pairs of these guys. We did get a few repeats, um, which I will show you as we go along. I got these Air Maxes. I think these are super interesting. They're like a mesh material. They are this like a super bright cobalt blue um, with like a orange detail on them. These are fun. I like the top part. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Air Maxes, um, but I like the top part of this. I want to say these are a, oh, these are a six and a half youth. So I believe that equates to about a women's eight and a half or maybe a nine. So we've got those guys. Here is another pair of Air Forces. And these are like holographic glittery with this orange detail here. I want to say these are also women's size seven. Um, I like how on the back here, let's see if we can show that i like how on the back it's like um embroidered and then it says nike right here as well but these are fun i'm gonna leave these in the box because i think the box is correct for this one i know i just said that i don't like air maxes but i do really really like these ones look at that these are so pretty if these were my size i definitely would have kept them they are a youth seven, which I believe is an eight and a half or nine. 
probably a nine. I think it goes up two sizes for women's, um, but I love the color. I love how it's like woven. There's suede and like a, a canvas material, and I really, really enjoy these ones. I think like the nude shoes will go pretty well just because they're like, they're easy, right? They're, they go with everything. They are super trendy. Um, these, I hate these. I think these look like work shoes. They remind me of like the non-slip shoes that I would have to wear when I worked at a restaurant. But these are Air 270 Reacts. Somebody said in my last shoe video that the Reacts will sell quick. Maybe I've priced them too high because they are not moving. Um, but we've got these guys here. They're just an all black, size eight and a half. Maybe an all black will do better because the other ones that I got were colorful and I did get a second pair. Okay, I don't know where the other um, reacts are that I got in, but I also really love these. I think these are a lot of fun. These are Nike ACG Air. I don't know what this style is, but they have the ACG logo right there. And I think these are super cool looking. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're kind of giving Gorp core. I, I want to say these are running shoes or some sort of outdoor shoes. Uh, these are a size 9. I believe these are men's, but really like these guys. Now that I've got a lot of the shoes on here versus just like scattered on the floor, it doesn't seem like as many as I thought, but I still have a couple in boxes. So I'm going to go grab those ones. This is where I put all the shoes that I really like. These are so interesting to me. I love the colorway on these. These are the Air Max Deluxe in a Youth 6. But look at that. Like, I just think these are so interesting. I don't know if this is a popular colorway or what, but I think these are a lot of fun. These are, I think this is the same shoe. This one doesn't have anything written on the box, so I'm not sure, but these are some more Air Maxes, I believe. And they're like a fuchsia hot pink with like a neon yellow swoosh right there. And these ones are a size 11. I think these are women's. I'm gonna assume these are women's. This doesn't seem like a men's size 11. Um, but yeah, these are fun. I don't know what this means. On the bottom here, it says T and Air. If anyone knows what that means, let me know. But there are those two pairs. These were just sitting on the floor, so I'll show these ones here. These are more Jordans. And like, <laughs> are these, I don't know, they have the same, oh, these are Air Max Jordans. Is that a, that's a thing, apparently. See, I literally don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like these videos are just like so useless because I don't really have anything insightful to say about these sneakers. Um, but this is what they look like. And these are a size 12 in men's. The box says Jordan Point Lane, but I'm not sure if that's correct. So again, I'm just gonna have to do some more research on these guys. And I'm just gonna set them here. I feel like since the boxes don't have lids, I might just get rid of all of them because they're not really doing anything for them. Here's another pair that I really like. I, I'm just eating my words because I said I don't like Air Maxes and then all the ones that I like are Air Maxes, but this is them right here. They're kind of giving like grade school primary colors. Um, I love this tag here. When I was little, I know it was like cool to keep the tag on your shoes, like kind of like this. Um, but even on like Vans, I would like leave the sticker on there and they would get so nasty. But it was like cool or something. I don't know if people still do that. But these are really fun. And these are size 10. I want to say these are women's 10. Um, but I love those ones. We've got a pair of sandals in this lot. So these are Nike ACG sandals i think these will do well during summer um and they're brand new with tags they're men's eight or women's nine and these say the deschutes i wonder i don't think it is i know there's a deschutes river here somewhere like nearby where i live but i don't think it's the same i think it's spelled differently so i'll have to look those up 
Okay, I found the React. So I got a pair of these in the first haul and it was the same exact one, just a different size. So this will be easy to list because I can just copy the listing. Um, but this is what they look like here. I'm not even taking them out of the box. These I love. I think these are so much fun. These are size six, but I feel like these are like a men's six because let me see. Actually, these might fit me. I don't know if I'd wear them though, but I think these are so cool looking. They're a lot of fun. Also giving like Gorpcore esque with just the way that the sole is on the bottom. Um, but I really like these. And then the last pair of shoes I have for you guys is going to be, this is so funny. If you guys watched the last shoe video, um, I was wearing these and I was saying how they are my dream shoe and then only to get literally the same exact shoe, but brand new and they're Nike blazers. They are just like the clean white and gray and black Nike blazers. Um, one is a size seven and the other is a size Oh, they're both size seven. I feel like these would be a little too big on me. Actually, they might fit. I'm like debating if I should get rid of the old ones that I bought from my consignment store and just get me a new pair or if I should just sell these. But I absolutely love these shoes and I've been seeing them around a lot more. But maybe it's just like, you know, when you get a certain car, like you start seeing that car around every more or more often. I feel like it's the same thing. Like these have always been popular shoes. But um, yeah, if you're a size seven and you need some Nike blazers, I got you. So that is it for all of the new pairs of shoes. I'm just gonna finish kind of cleaning up this shoe section and filling out this rack and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it is completely full. it's looking like things are nice and in order kind of I kind of pushed this one and a bunch of shoes fell off so I have to fix that one um, but I'm I'm really liking how these shoes here are organized um, I'm gonna have to clean up this section because I want just this side to be shoe boxes and then have this side be more clothes because as you guys know I have all these racks of clothes um, that I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep them on the racks or if I'm going to put them into inventory bins um, but yeah anyway that is it for today's video I just chatted with my inventory plug and I'm gonna be picking up some more inventory from her soon so hopefully there won't be as long of a break between all the haul videos and you guys can just binge all of them um, but if you guys are interested in the rack that I was using to organize my shoes again I will link that down below make sure you guys watch the rest of the videos in this series and I will see you guys later for another one bye <laughs> Thank you.